Hello my beauty addicts! Welcome back! Today I'm finally going to do the video that I have been dying to show you guys. It is the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick versus the LA Girl Glazed Lip Paint. So, you guys have asked me whether these two products are dupes for each other and I am here to tell you that no they are not. I have put these to the test for the last few weeks and I have a pretty good grasp of what uh, type of products these are. So first I'm going to talk to you about these uh, LA Glazed Lip uh, Products. Now these run $3.50 at most I've seen and they come in six different colors only. You can get these online. I have found mine at Kmart personally. And how I would describe these as is more of a very, very pigmented lip gloss. I wore these out for quite a few hours and there are great things to this but there's also cons to it as well. The first thing is the pigmentation is amazing. I'm sure you guys have seen a million swatches of these so I'm not going to swatch these but um, their pigmentation is awesome. The color payoff is amazing on these. Basically what you kind of see as the tube is what you're going to get. You do get a lot of product for the amount of money you spend for it. Um, you don't need a lot to put on your lips. You can use this very sparingly and get like a nice flushed look or you can really pack this on and get some a very very vibrant look. This will turn out very very glossy on your lips. It is not matte by any means. You can make it matte obviously um, but this is not matte by any means. Um, the formula on this is not bad as far as it feels on your lips. It doesn't feel really heavy. It doesn't feel very slippery. It is not sticky by any means. It's very comfortable to wear. So that's why I don't mind these at all. The downside to these is you absolutely positively have to wear a lip liner with these. These travel like nobody's business. I would recommend you not putting too much on your lips because the more you put on, the more of a um, chance you have of it spreading and it really does, like it goes everywhere. So you have to be careful. It does not stain your lips, it did not actually stain on my lips and I wore, wore one of the brighter ones at one point out to a barbecue and it did not stain my lips whatsoever. So um, that's one of the downsides. By any means, this is nowhere near the melted lip lipsticks that came out from Too Faced. If you are the type that likes a very pigmented lip gloss, this is something you'd like. It does make your lips look fuller because of the shininess, super shiny. I really like the shininess on this. Um, but what I recommended, I would recommend it to those that don't mind that. If you don't mind spending the $350 on this product and just kind of have to keep an eye out for it, make sure you don't put too much on it, I think you should be fine. The, there are products at the drugstore that, that are similar as far as the um, maintenance of it that I think that if you're okay with that, you'll be fine with this one. So I do like it. Out of 10, I'd probably give this a 7.5 um, just because of those downfalls that I personally don't like to keep up with those kind of products. Like that's just, I, I don't know, I'm not a lip junkie because I don't like to have to constantly keep an eye on my lips when I eat or talk or whatever the case may be. Now the other downside of this that I did forget to mention is the fact that if you are the type of person that talks a lot like me, you will get that grittiness inside your lips from this product. I did try it very lightly as far as like a staining effect on my lips where it's just like a flush and it still did the inside uh, like gathering of the product. I didn't like that at all. It also did that to me even when I did pull a full lip, I still had the gathering inside my lips. Um, if you are going to go somewhere where you're going to be talking a lot, I wouldn't recommend wearing this because of the traveling situation and because of the gathering inside your lips. That's another downfall I didn't like from this product. So that's my intake on these. Now on to the Too Faced Melted. These are $21. You can find these at Sephora on Too Faced website and as well as Ulta. They came out with five colors and then they recently came out with four additional ones. So I believe there's nine in total. Don't quote me on that. I don't remember. Yes, I own every single color because yes, I am obsessed with these. A few of you had mentioned that you absolutely love my lip color in my July favorites. It was this what I was wearing. I was wearing the color Melted Ruby on my lips. It is red and you guys saw it on my lips 
These are so comfortable to wear. These are not as shiny as your LA, uh, uh, LA girl glazed ones. They are more of a satin finish on your lips, closer to a matte. It's not fully matte. It is not drying on your lips. It is a bit more drying than the uh, glazed ones are but it isn't something that is uncomfortable. It really stays put as well. You do not have to wear a lip liner with these. These are truly an actual liquid lipstick. It stays put. You saw the red on my lips. It did not budge at all whatsoever. I did not put a lip liner. I spoke like crazy. It did not transfer all my teeth. It did not gather inside of my mouth. Um, the applicate the applicator I forgot to show you on the lip glaze ones they're very similar in the actual um, angle of them as you could see the only thing is that this has a sponge tip and this one does not I recommend using a um, a brush to apply these um, if you are adventurous and don't mind putting your lips on here and you're not sharing this with anyone uh, I'd say just put it on your lips but you can also use a, a brush with it as well. You get more of a precise application with a brush, more so than you do with this, depending on how big or full your lips are. Um, these run $21, like I said, so it is a big jump from the LA, uh, LA Girl ones versus these Too Faced ones. If you are a lip junkie and you absolutely love lip products i say splurge and get these you're not going to be disappointed these do not travel they do not gather these are an amazing amazing product i am actually very very obsessed with these believe it or not uh any chance i get i'm pulling one of these suckers out to wear them and the new colors are awesome awesome i love them so I definitely give this a 9 out of a 10. The only reason is because of the actual applicator. I'm not a fan of it too much. Um, but you do get a lot for what you're paying because a little bit goes a long way. You don't need to use too much of the product, if, if you get what I mean. They are very long wearing. I wouldn't say that they're more than 24 hours, but they are long wearing. And they are just... They feel good on your lips. They're not sticky. They, uh, they're they just a great overall product. This is a great, great invention that they came out with. So that is my intake on both the Too Faced and the LA Girl lip paints. Um, like I said, if you're on a budget, I would recommend just getting these. But if you like to splurge and you really like a lip product, go for this. You are not going to be disappointed. I Trust me, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye, guys.